Hoverboard. While everyone's waiting for real hoverboards, there is one company that claims you can get the same feeling, like floating in the air, if you skate on one wheel. That's why they made their own hoverboard, a board with a 10-inch wheel controlled by inclining your body forwards and backwards. The guys from the company Hoverboard Technologies claim that their one-wheeled skateboard is much faster, more practical, and mobile. The 24-pound hoverboard is equipped with a 5,000-volt motor placed in the center of the wheel. It guarantees a top speed of 16 miles per hour and a range of 12 miles. Complete charging takes only 15 minutes. A sonar detector informs the board's self-balancing system to keep the board parallel with the ground, while regenerative braking is employed to recover energy and charge the board when going downhill or decelerating. In addition to all the technology that's packed into the hoverboard itself, there's also a mobile app for Android and iOS. The app, running on a Bluetooth-connected smart device, allows users to activate and lock their one-wheeler, check its charge level and battery health, and set speed limits. It's also possible to customize the lighting, play and customize audio, and view ride data, such as the maximum speed, the average speed, and the distance traveled. Rhino Rhino is the first one-wheeled bike powered by an electric accumulator and has a unique smart balancing system. It's light and simple to drive. Anyone would easily master the technique after driving a few feet. The invention by designer Chris Hoffman has been released quite recently. Before that, for a long time, the construction was being upgraded and improved. Rhino is a unique example of moto technique that doesn't pollute has quite an impressive predicted range and safety margin, and it's a really premium acquisition for everyone who loves all that's new and unusual. Rhino speeds up to 19 miles per hour, it's easy to drive, accelerates lightly, goes into bends very smoothly, is steady even when driving for a long time at a low pace, has a comfortable seat, weighs less than 130 pounds, it's compact, and it's safe. Ether Cruise British student Mac Byers developed a project of a luxury mega airship called Ether Cruise, which can be realized by 2030. Ether Cruise is an 820-foot-long airship. The interior is basically a two-story open space lobby with a restaurant next to it. All the tables are near the windows, so you can have dinner while watching the landscape beneath the dirigible. A huge kitchen, big staterooms with double beds, fitted with the latest technology, panoramic overviews. This beautiful and extraordinary cruise airship is for outgoing people not accustomed to hide in the cabin while traveling. And though dirigibles cannot move as fast as jets, they can give you a very nice and comfortable trip. Sunnyclist. A Crete-based company started to produce the Sunnyclist, a vehicle powered by solar batteries. The developing of this autonomous and economical vehicle took four years. The car cost half the price of a common European solar-powered vehicle. The three-wheel car capable of transporting three people was created with the latest engineering programs. Equipped with a photovoltaic generator and a 4 kilovolt motor, Sunnyclist can cover up to 155 miles using a 3 kW sun battery, while other similar electric cars use a sun battery four times bigger than that. Sunnyclist is fitted with individual compact pedals, so every passenger can contribute to powering the vehicle. This solution guarantees security, flexibility, and autonomy in case of lack of sun.
Trifan 600. American company XTI Aircraft began engineering a new private plane known as the Trifan 600, able to take off and land vertically. The concept has been in development for over two years. It is planned to build the Trifan 600 with composite materials. There will be two fixed wings, five passenger seats and one seat for the pilot. This project was thought for businessmen tired of traffic jams. You can easily avoid them at a speed of 400 miles per hour. Actually, you'll be able to travel between cities and countries. The top height of this hybrid plane is 30,000 feet. With two turbo engines, it can fly 800 to 1200 miles until the refuel is needed. The vertical liftoff is provided by three ducted fans with sliding trap doors. If no longer needed, the fuselage mounted fan closes up. The concept implies several different options for the design. Scootmatic Scootmatic is a folding electrical bicycle-looking scooter. It's the lightest bike scooter in the market and can cover up to 28 miles on one charge. It takes 3 to 5 hours to recharge completely. Scootmatic is a hybrid. It looks like a bicycle but works like a scooter. The company's goal was not only to create a unique, innovative and attractive vehicle, but also to make it eco-friendly. And that's why it's equipped with a Samsung lithium battery, LED lamps and a display. The scooter bike can speed up to 60 miles per hour and it can easily climb any hill. The company recommends Scootmatic to those who are looking for an alternative to cars and public transport in urban and suburban areas. The scooter bike is light and very easy to transport. With a weight of 37 pounds when folded, it's 4 feet long, 22 inches high and 10 inches wide. You can fold it in one second. Scootmatic has a leather seat, a remote control and a Bluetooth speaker. Mercedes-Benz Future Bus Mercedes-Benz introduced the self-driving Future Bus, a picture of what public transport can be like in the future. The car is made on the base of the 40-foot Mercedes-Benz Citaro bus, equipped with a V6 300 horsepower engine. The interior of the Future Bus is completely reconceptualized. For example, the compartment is divided into a few zones with different ergonomics in accordance with the time the passengers are going to spend inside. The main feature of the bus is the autopilot system City Pilot that allows it to move on its own, identifying obstacles, traffic lights, road signs, all by itself. City Pilot counts with a high precision GPS receiver and radars of short and long range, which are used to scan the road while moving. Goodyear Eagle 360 Goodyear presented its idea of how tires will be in the long-term future and is fundamentally different from the modern models, thanks to its spherical shape. According to the manufacturer, the 3D printed tire will gain popularity as the self-driving cars become more common. The distinctive shape of Goodyear Eagle 360 provides safety and maneuverability required for self-driving cars. The spherical shape is the main condition for perfect maneuvering. The tires can move in every direction, guaranteeing the safety of the passengers. Thanks to the active technology, the tires move in a way that makes the car steadier during unforeseen situations on the road. The unique form of the tire provides a smooth ride by creating a fluid lateral movement. This helps the car to overtake an obstacle without changing its driving direction. The tires are connected to the car thanks to a technology which is also used in magnetic levitation trains, which increases passenger comfort and reduces noise.
Kawasaki J. On an exhibition in Tokyo, Kawasaki introduced a new concept, the Kawasaki J. The three-wheeled motorcycle is equipped with electric transmission, but its coolest feature is the flexibility of the vehicle. You can adjust the seat from vertical when the wheels are wide apart and the handles are up to sports mode when the wheels are close to each other. The handles are down and you're almost lying on the seat. Instead of a rudder, there are two levers attached directly to the front wheels. The Kawasaki company didn't reveal the specifications of the concept. They only emphasized the fact that it's equipped with a high-density Gigacell Nickel Metal Hydride, or NIMH, battery pack. Kawasaki J may never go into mass production, but it successfully fulfilled the role by showing the futuristic opportunities of the modern bike production.